Hello and welcome to this first development diary for my Traveller implementation for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. I'm Sam, aka Not a Snark on Discord and other places, and I don't know how regular these will be, maybe weekly, maybe monthly, possibly this may be both the first and last one. We'll, we'll see how things go. So the purpose of it is just to give an overview of what I've been working on and some of the changes that have been made to the um, virtual tabletop system. So first of all, um, recently I added in some sanity checking for dragging and dropping items and actors onto character sheets. So you can drop in, say, this laser carbine and it will add it to my traveler. But if you try and drop in um, some cargo, it will pop up a warning saying, no, you can't do that because Travelers and NPCs can't, can't carry cargo. Um, if we open up a fire trader, add in some advanced electronics and add in some advanced, there we go. Um, that will drop and it will appear in the cargo hold because um, spacecraft can carry cargo. And um, some of the changes were just tidying up the warnings when dropping character packages onto different actor types because NPCs can't have career items or background associates and if you dropped a package which contained, contained those you'd get a whole load of warnings. They've been tidied up to uh, behave a bit more sensibly. Um, another thing that's been tidied up around packages, um, what do we want. So we have a look at extra actors. So here's an Aslan package. Um, we can dra drag this onto our character. Um, and it, so it pops up um, some information saying things have been added. So we can see that uh, we've got another um, background career has been added in, um, a dew claw has been added because Aslan had dew claws that be added as an attack type. Um, but also what's happened is we've now got a couple of green highlighted skills um, and if we open those up we see we've got a plus one bonus there. Um, um, with a skill note saying you get it from Aslan senses. So, and if we make a roll, we'll see, uh, we'll get a bonus of Aslan senses um, when, when rolling that type of skill. So, you, you can add uh, skill bonuses to skills um, from there, and some of the there were some bugs around that which have been fixed. Um, if you control click on a Skill it will bring up the options. I've also added a bonus type of boon or bane. Some versions of the WAP, depending on which book you look in, um, give them a automatic boon on science and admin skills. So that was added in to support that, and that that will now work. So. Let's close all that. Another thing that's been added, just because it sort of seemed an interesting thing to try out, was um, setting the size of icons for spacecraft. So we've got a spacecraft token there, and currently it's a three by three icon um, to make it a bit bigger than normal characters. Obviously, it's not scale to normal characters but it can be in scale to other ships. So if we change our tonnage there and drag in the token, we've now got a different different size. And let's make it a 5,000 ton vessel. And now the token's been updated to be, again, larger. So the, the scaling is logarithmic. Basically, every 10-fold increase in tonnage will increase the icon width by two spaces. Um, currently you have to close the character sheet down before it takes effect. 
it doesn't affect existing icons. That's something I need to have a play around with. I also need to think about how to handle really big ships, which might be very thin, um, because you don't necessarily always want a square icon. This is optional. There's a, sys uh, a world configuration option for it to disable it if you don't like it. I might um, make it a individual act actor level config or maybe a button to to do the auto resets but i per personally i do like um spacecraft tokens to sort of represent roughly how big they are relative to each other so that's something i've been playing with um uh, the other main thing i've been distracted with is creatures so previously and creatures have had behaviors and traits. These have been free text fields, so you can put in anything you want there. I've now tidied that up a bit, so you've now got a drop down list. So you can add in what things are. Um, and actually, if we take out Hunter, you um, may notice that survival there becomes ticked um, because a hunter has a recommended um, skill of survival other skills will will also be modified depending on what you add in there i mean if it's a non-zero skill it won't be unset when when you remove it um, but if it's just left as simply as trained with a skill of zero, it, it will clear it when you remove that. It does mean you can't add in your own things there, but it does also mean give some level of automation, which makes it a bit quicker to um, build characters. We also have traits. Um, you can add in traits. Um, if we add in camouflage, notice that um, stealth goes green because um, camouflage gives a bonus to stealth. Um, some things such as first metabolism that affects init, and we can increase or decrease that. Size is done off this table here. And actually, if you go on here, it will give also give a recommendation of. what the recommended number of hits are for a creature of that size. It doesn't force anything, it just allows you to set it. Um, yeah, and flyers, you can set how, how fast, fast the flyer that they are. Um, conversion from the old uh, way of doing things to the new way of doing things is attempted when, when an upgrade's done. It's not guaranteed to work. So when you move to, uh, I think this will be in 0 0.9.2 when it's released, probably sometime today, um, it may possibly break some of these if you already have behaviors and traits set in pure text fields, but we do try and do a conversion between text fields and um, this more structured way of doing things. Um, but it's not perfect because uh, these could be written in any any way um, in the free text field, so we, we can't capture every eventuality. Um, I probably need to tidy up what these look like. Um, it's a bit inconsistent between traits and behaviours with you know, different things being highlighted or not highlighted. Um, but yeah, uh, that's something I'll work on later. Um, uh, finally, one thing I have done is I've added a cache attribute to NPCs. Um, this makes them a bit easier, well, should make them a bit easier to use with the item pile module. Um, someone was taking a look at that and um, trying to get it to work with the system and does seem to work so but yeah i 
now added an option for NPCs that have cash, which wasn't something I really considered previously. Um, but beyond that, um, next thing I'm probably going to be taking a look at um, Starship, uh, Starship options, um, mostly around hardware and weapons. Uh, I'll do a video on that um, specifically. Uh, because it's uh, a bit non-trivial in how you set up starships and things, but um, hopefully it's reasonably straightforward once it's been explained. So, yeah, um, so this is what I've been sort of working on for the last week or so. Um, hope that was informative, and um, thank you for your time.